Hi everyone and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see how you can import some data from Google Analytics to Matomo Analytics. So this is possible thanks uh, to a plugin which has been developed by the Matomo's team. Uh, so it's named Google Analytics Importer. It has been released in August 2019. So basically what it allows you to do is that it's uh, exporting the data from the Google Analytics API and import them within Matomo. So in order to make it work, you will need to go through uh, the Google website and uh, through the Google website, you will get a token and then you will need to enable the two uh, Google Analytics API that Matomo needs in order to be able to export the data. Then you will get a config file that you will import within Matomo thanks to uh, the plugin that you will install. So actually the plugin that you install um, is, is very basic. I mean, it's just a, a backend on which you can just, uh, in fact, um, um, upload your credential and then decide which data you would like to import. So basically it looks like uh, this. The next six imports so is very easy to install, right? It's just a two click installation. And it's here uh, when you upload, in fact, the file that you're gonna get through uh, the console.developers.google.com. So I'm not gonna go through the full process of um, creating your, your token uh, through the Google API website because it's very easy. And uh, for me, it's gonna make a lot of effort in order to kind of recreate one and show it to you through this video. So I already uh, did it, but uh, what you can do is actually just uh, follow step by step and the documentation of the Matomo's website is what I did it's really well done. Uh, if you follow it carefully, there's no reason why uh, you may not succeed. And if you um, would like to import the data locally, and this is what we're going to see within this video, just to let you know that it's possible. Okay, so you can import it on an HTTP local host um, website. There's no problem with that. Okay, so you need to go through all this process, which will uh, feel familiar to all the person who are already um, uh, playing a little bit with the Google API or the people who already installed the plugin of uh, Matomo, which allows you to import data from the Google Search Console. So it's as easy as this. It takes about, let's say, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and probably the hardest part uh, for you is uh, the steps number 11, when you need to mention what is the name of your website. So here, for example, if uh, you are in local host, it's just going to be HTTP local host, then authorized JavaScript origin uh, is just going to be local host as well, if I remember well. And then the authorized redirect URI here, it's going to be uh, local host, then your folder where you have the index.php. And then you need to add those uh, parameters uh, in order to complete the, the config file. But that's, that's not even difficult. The, you just need to follow carefully the documentation here. It's going to be fine. Then what you need to do is that you need to upload this file through the plugin, which will be installed uh, through the marketplace. And it's a free plugin, so it doesn't cost you anything um, except, of course, the time to go through all this documentation here. But as I said, it's going to take you like between 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, and once it's done, you will get through the backend of uh, Matomo this given, um, let's say, place where you can, in fact, uh, upload your, uh, your file and where you can as well decide which website you would like to import, uh, which property you would like to import within Matomo. So you need to indicate uh, at uh, which date you would like to start uh, the import within your analytics data and at what time you would like to end it. And then you need to indicate the property ID and the view ID. However, um, I strongly not recommend you to use this backend here because you will see that the process in order to import the data of uh, Google Analytics to Matomo is kind of long and you would like to ensure that actually nothing is breaking through this process. And in order to ensure that, you need uh, to use, in fact, the second method, which is um, the command line is what we're going to see right now. Um, so in order to use the command line, all you need to do is to have an access to your server. So it's very easy if you are uh, just installing it on a local server to test it. And you need to get the property ID and the view ID. And uh, just to let you know as well that when you are uh, going to launch the import, it's going to create a new Matomo's website. Okay, so uh, we're going to do that uh, right now. So 
I have a website over here and as you can see I have some data from the 1st of August to the 24th of August and I'm gonna just import uh, let's say let's say like a week of data because the, the script is, is kind of long actually it's not due to the script it's due uh, to the API limits of, um, of Google and I'm gonna import actually those uh, seven days that you can see over here so in order to do so I will need to get uh, the property ID and I will need as well to get the view ID so I go within the property setting over here I'm getting my uh, credential I'm gonna go through my command line interface over here just gonna change uh, in my case I'm gonna change the UA okay it's gonna be like this and then I need the view ID and the view ID is the next one so that's the one that you get when you're going like this in the view settings and then of course you need to specify the date range okay so go this way and in my case i just want the 1st of august until the 7th of august so here is uh, the file that you execute within your uh, matomo's installation where it's located okay that's the executive uh, console file and then here's the method that you are calling which is the one of the plugin okay so let's let's launch that out so um, as you can see it's going to create uh, um, an id a website id in matomo which will be uh, number 45 and then it's giving you some information about what it's doing and potential bugs or stuff that it's gonna uh, face so here it's telling us okay um, i imported the data for the first of august there was no session so i went to the second one there was no session so i went uh, to the third one so of course you can uh, check that out with let's say the number of visits that you have for real we're gonna see if that's exact so this is the user which are listed in our case Matomo is talking about sessions so we're gonna move to session instead so we had no visits on the first so it's fine we had no visit on the second but then for the third we had one visit one visits here one visit and uh, we are so normally at the end of the process I should have four session recorded I'm just going to move over here and say okay from the one to the seventh okay file like this we'll see with those two uh, graph are uh, the same at the end of the day okay so uh now it's telling me okay and blah 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 so it's going to go through the third of august so we're going to wait a little bit for those data to be imported uh just to let you know that within the documentation of um of the plugins they are clearly saying it that actually it takes some time so this is what uh, they are saying do, 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 um, in terms of time it takes balance okay google impose a daily limit on the number of FEA requests you can make each day at most 50,000. the import will hit this limit after importing about four months of data this takes just a couple of hours this means that there is supposed to be a run over several days until the entire data set is imported so just to let you know in some cases it can take some time so that's the reason why um, i'm just taking seven days of data just to let you know as well that this script is not 100 percent perfect and the reason is um, that actually uh, through the api you cannot get access to all the data um, of uh, the Google Analytics platform so as a result the data that you will export for example won't be able uh, to be processed by segments and uh, won't give you access as well to what we call the raw data so mainly uh, the visit logs or at least every report which are dealing with uh, with logs and of course if some uh, feature are not supported by Matomo but are supported in Google Analytics you won't uh, find them within uh, Matomo but the good news is that um, the guy at Matomo made a great job in order to uh, support uh, the some part of the configuration of uh, Google Analytics so for example the, the goals are imported as they were in uh, in Google Analytics so that's uh, that's very impressive so as um, custom dimensions and, and custom variables so let's go back now um, over here so what they are saying is okay I couldn't find uh, found zero session for the 3rd of August which is kind of strange because um, that's not the case in my case they were so I'm gonna double check um, by going directly 
through uh, my Matamos. I'm going to go here on our website and I'm going to see if uh, the script created um, the property that I wanted. So in my case, I'm just going to clear my cache. Okay, clear my cache and see. So normally it should be named CoinDozer because they are taking exactly the same, the same name. So let's see. Okay, CoinDozer. Okay, here it is. So I'm clicking on it and uh, I'm going to go on the time period that we wanted, which was from the 1st to the 7th. And let's see how it goes. Okay, so overview. Okay, so as you can see, the script is working. I mean, two visits have been imported. Okay, so I got my visit from the 3rd of August, which is kind of strange because here they say that there was no session imported for uh, the 3rd of August, which was not true because in fact he imported it and he is now continuing to process all the rest of the data. So as you can see, that's the reason why actually I do not have yet my two extra visits, which are over here. But as you can see, the script is working, is porting um, properly the data within, uh, within Matomo. So I get like the actions, I get like the visit duration, seems that the bounce rate is either not imported or not working or either I had a bounce rate of zero. Uh, oh, I had the bounce rate of zero. So actually this is, this is, this is true. And uh, you can have a look of course and all the different uh, other reports. So as you can see, you get uh, the location as in Google Analytics, but unfortunately the raw data are not imported. So that's the reason why if I click on this one, I won't see anything, right? You see what we call the raw data are not uh, imported because probably it's not possible to export them from uh, Google Analytics. But uh, you can see, for example, here that I get my custom dimensions, which have been uh, properly um, exported. I have no idea if I had, yeah, I had some gold. So as you can see, they have been imported uh, too. And now I just need, in fact, uh, to wait for the full process to be uh, finished. But uh, yeah. As you can see, the, the visits are coming. So I'm going to probably get uh, my 7th um, of August over here when uh, the script will have finished to process it. And that's everything that I wanted to, uh, to show you for uh, today about um, how you can import data uh, from Google Analytics to uh, Matomo. So just to let you know as well that this plugin is brand new, at least at the time where I'm doing this uh, video. So it may evolve in, in the future. And of course, if uh, the Google Analytics API allows it, probably uh, you will have the possibility to get even more data as it was 100% uh, as in, in Google Analytics. But once more, it really depends to the possibility that uh, Google Analytics is letting in order to export data. But just to let you know that right now, yes, you can migrate a huge part of your data from Google Analytics to Matto. Uh, once more, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to give it a try to this uh, plugin uh, to make your own experience. And of course, uh, to, um, um, yeah, to suggest some improvement to this plugin. Once more, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to create your own video and share them on social networks.